Hi everyone, it's Sue and welcome to my craft room today. I am in the middle of making some ATCs and they're sort of vintage collaged ATCs because, um, well, I'm into the collaging at the moment, but I've also been watching uh, uh, Betsy Doodle, Dee from Betsy Doodle, Doodle and she's been making some ATCs and I thought, oh, I love making ATCs um, and I actually love swapping them too. So I thought I might make some and hopefully swap them with some people who like them. So um, basically what I've been doing is these are the ones I've started. So they're just a collaged little um, ATC and I've been trying to use up all of the different uh, scraps and bits and pieces, die cuts, magazine cutouts that I have collected um, over gosh knows how long. So I thought I would um, just do a bit of a craft along sort of session. Uh, these ones are sort of half done. These are collaged, but they need the backing. So what I do when I get to this point, um, I just grab, these are actually two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I cut a two and a half by three and a half and I glue them on like so. It just gives them a little bit of stability. And it also hides the fact that quite often um, they are recycled cardboard well most of the time pretty much all the time actually so there's that one and these little images uh, let me just find the packet these came from um, a place called Micmoc they are an Australian um, it's like a little stationery shop but they have these little uh, printed little cutouts of the characters and things that you would have got in, um, I guess, children's books many, many years ago. I'm assuming before, prior to sort of our copyright date at the moment. So um, I've been using a few of those. So that one's that one. And the little uh, words are from either this Tim Holtz one. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, phrases or something, maybe. Let me just find the packet. Uh, the clipping stickers and this one is the ideology uh, big chat so I've been using those for all the words and things so there's that one and this one and as I said these will be backed onto some craft uh, paper or card um, or I guess that's what I'm using but you can of course use anything these ones and as I said, just bits and pieces. Some of the things were um, part of Happy Mail as well. Some of them were cut from magazines. So they're the ones that I'm up to. But basically, all I've done, you could make a master board of um, collaged bits and cut them up. But I haven't done that because I've just had these random bits of smaller bits of cardboard that I've cut up. And then I'm trying to use all these little bits and pieces that um, I don't use for a lot of other things. So recycled cardboard, that's from a tissue box for anyone who recognises it. And basically all I do is just rip up. Um, some of these pieces of paper and stick them down. Now ideally you should sand this back of course but oh, to be honest I got sick of doing it and it made such a mess and it slowed me down too much. It was yeah didn't didn't like it. So I'm actually using art glitter glue to stick them down but of course you could use your um, glue stick as well although I find glue stick on these shiny surfaces not the best idea. So it's just random. I'm just sort of using up some of these scrap bits of paper. And it doesn't matter if it overhangs because you can simply um, trim it off later. So basically that's 
all I do to make the background and what I do is I make quite a few backgrounds like that I'll let them dry then I'll do the trimming it's more like a, a production line I guess I'll make the backgrounds then they dry then I'll trim them and then that's when I get up to the fun part of actually collaging and I'll just bring you up a little bit more there we go um, and what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the bits and pieces that I have I've got uh, these ones are the Tim Holtz ephemera pack uh, there's quite a few things in there I also have uh, just an assortment of bits and pieces from various places I've got uh, this one is a Kaiser Craft collectibles uh, die cut pack or ephemera pack and I've also got um, a little box of scrap bits of fabric and things that and other bits by the looks of things that I could possibly use as well and of course I do have these words here and the Micmoc things as well so it's just a random bits and pieces of whatever I could find and then I just put them together uh, I do distress the edges where I remember I don't always remember I have to be honest but it's just a matter of putting them all together so if you would like to craft along with me, feel free. Um, maybe just, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a chat, catch up. Um, not that there's much going on in my life at the moment, simply because we're in um, lockdown and with a curfew, <laughs> which is somewhat, uh, I don't know, it's kind of funny, but it's also annoying because um, not so much the, the curfew, which is starts at 8 o'clock, but it's more more the um, not being able to go to certain places, you know, even spotlights. You can't even sneak into a spotlight just to pick something up quickly unless you do a click and collect, I think. And that's, um, I don't know, I find them annoying to do those because nine times out of ten, I'm not 100% sure what I actually want. Um, and you buy things online and don't get me wrong I love buying things online done a lot of it but you don't always get what you think you're getting I guess is what I'm trying to say um, yeah I you know <clears throat> sometimes you might um, put an order in for something and be surprised when you get it um, quite often I find they're not as big as I think they are or the colors not quite right or whatever um, so you know you take your chance sometimes so I'll, there are times where I really need to see what I'm buying and I'm actually after a brother cut and scan but I'm not prepared to buy that online I really would like to speak to somebody and get some advice and some you know sort of information of what other things I need to to buy with it because I'm sure it's not just a matter of buying the machine itself it never is so I thought um, you know I'd like to go and have a speak to them unfortunately it's been rather difficult to do that so and the note the place that, I, that I'm looking at it's not close to me either it's um, probably an hour's drive maybe so I've been a bit reluctant to uh, go there now I've got it all over my fingers I'm not sure if that's going to actually stick. I might have to use craft glue. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's sort of what I would do. And we'll just give it up. And there we go. Another one. Um, what else have I got here? This little image was also from Micmoc. It came. Uh, I don't know if I've got a spare one. They have some cute things. Um, and as if you're Australian, it's nice because they're not too far away and they will get here. <coughs> Has been a bit slow getting international post, and at the moment we can't post. It doesn't seem that we can post at all. My post office did tell me that uh, a lot of mail is not leaving the country unless you're paying the extra to get it um, the tracking 
So the, these things here, and I'll just bring you out a little bit so you can see. These here are like a little collaged piece, but they've kind of got like that old style gum stuff that you wet and stick. Um, so there's those as well. They've got those with the same order. Uh, so that, this one was part of one of them and I just cut it up. I prefer to cut it up than use the whole thing. I'm still using glue to stick it down actually. I just figured whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a little bit of a cough again. Um, it is an asthma cough. Um, unfortunately, if I eat the wrong things too, that uh, causes it to flare up a little bit. Glue that bit down. So just placing things where I think they go. I'm not a hundred percent sure on this red. No, I don't think I will. What other colours have I got? I do have this one. That one actually I think is better. So let's just rip a little piece off. I have lots of these little off-cut pieces of fabric at the moment because um, I've been making a few masks and um, so yeah I've got these little bits actually that's better yep like that and I might just grab the craft glue for the fabric part of it So I hope everybody is good and um, getting lots of crafting done and not uh, stressing too much. Um, yeah, it's, it's um, certainly a trying times. And as I've said before, I'm not an outdoory person or, or, you know, go out a lot, but even I'm starting to, I guess, feel the impact of not being able to go places. Um, you know you just sort of sometimes I'll wake up in the morning it's nice and sunny and I think oh where can I go today and then it dawns on me that well no you're not going anywhere today <laughs> you can go and visit the craft room <laughs> but that's about it so it's like mm. <laughs> here's another one but the bottom line is if we don't all cooperate and do what we're asked we will here in Victoria be here for a while as it is it's the numbers they don't seem to be decreasing even though we're now I think in our week and a half into our really stage four lockdown and we're all wearing masks when we are out um, our numbers they're not dropping dramatically let's just put it that way in fact to me it's a bit disappointing because I don't know they and, and the chart that excuse the wrinkling they're um you know they're charging people every night for being out and doing the wrong thing and yet I don't know we're still in the situation we're in and there's some people who don't seem to think that uh, the rules apply to them which is really frustrating but I guess there's people like that all over the world who are only thinking of themselves or you know don't believe what's going on is sort of is going on I guess but uh, anyway <clears throat> won't go on about that um, let me see just trying to find a couple of other things to pop on here I kind of like some backgroundy things and then one sort of main focally image which in this case would have been the little girl. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of that sort of thing in this particular pack. Or I may have used them. Oh, that one. Hang on. What about that? Um, hmm. Maybe not that though. Something of a different colour. No, I don't like that. Um, I'm not sure where I got these. Somebody um, gifted them to me in a Happy Mail, I think. 
have been very useful for this. Ooh. Hang on, I've got a bit of a, what's this? Magazine cut out of a heart. Hang on, let's just pop that down there. Um, hmm. No, don't like it. Okay, might just, I might pop those together and just put a word, I think. Maybe they'll do that. Sometimes just do, just dressing the edges is enough too, I find. And I have a tendency to be a bit too picky. I can't help myself. It's just one of my, um, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you call them, traits. And I am very big into colour matching. I try not to. I try to go random, but it just doesn't work for me. I can't do it. I must admit I have improved over the years. Um, oops, actually that's upside down. Don't see big that that's what I'm talking about. That's upside down, so it can't go. <laughs> Has to go the right way. Oh dear. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Well, I know I'm not. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, I'm working from home at the moment, which mind but um because it's now sort of an unknown time period I guess it, it makes it a little bit harder and I think um, you know employers are at that point where they're sort of thinking well we still have to um, achieve in the year whatever it is and um so they're demanding a little bit more now I've found Just looking to see if there's anything there that can. No, I don't think there's anything relevant there. Yeah, so you know the, they're putting, I guess, a little bit more pressure on to um, get more results or be more productive. I guess is the right words. But um, and the thing is, I'm finding that the longer we're in the lockdown, the harder it is to do that. So uh, I guess I'm feeling stressed, I, I must admit. Um, so I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, hmm, I think we might just go for grateful. <laughs> so yeah, but um, yeah, as I'm working from home, so there's that. Haven't been anywhere. Um, and at the moment it's very cold too and I, I, I really feel the cold so even to go outside for a walk the motivation is just not there really isn't um, so I'm struggling with that as well and of course that's never any good <laughs> um, you know and I'm also finding uh, when I'm stressed I eat more too and when I'm cold I eat more so you get the picture what's happening here not good um, and I'm going to be paying for it big time sometime in the future. Um, but I guess it's in the future, isn't it? It's down the track. Worry about it down the track. Oh dear. I know I'm not the only one. But uh, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Um, I'm just trying to think what I could put it here. <laughs> Let's do a reshuffle. Put that there, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't mind that. It still shows this thing, too. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So, apart from work, I few um, YouTube videos, not many, got to be honest. I'm well behind what I normally am. Um, lack of motivation, I think, mostly. Watched quite a few videos. Um, but, yeah, struggled to sort of really do much of my own crafting, I guess. There's projects I've got sitting there. I've got some slow stitch projects that I really desperately wanted to finish. Um, I started the uh, slow stitch book 
with um well I can't even think of her name now the so for the soul one um <clears throat> I haven't got very far I've done two pages I think um I'm not sure if they've the second one's totally finished yet I haven't quite finished the other uh, So For The Soul, the long sampler sort of one that we were doing. i almost finished that one. Um, and I have my quilt that I was working on that's sitting there. And that's been quite a while that's sitting there. Um, just struggling to get the motivation to do it. I, it. Sewing for me is something that's a wintery thing too. So I never did much over summer. But now that it's sort of winter, I really don't have any excuse except motivation. But I am aiming to get those done because um, I would like to show you what I've done with those. I'm quite pleased with how they've turned out. They're, you know, a little bit different to what I would have done. Um, which, you know, it's all about that learning and changing what you're doing and, and growing, I suppose. You know, like seeing what what other people are doing and um, using the ideas. It's been brilliant. I like that butterfly. I'm going to have to chop him though. But I need something in the background. Oh, I don't mind that. You'll need grunging a little bit. Oh, what's this one? Your smile. Mm hmm. I think one of these ones maybe. Although I think maybe little things. Yep, yeah, I think I use that one. Okay, so just pop that there to remind me that I'm going to use it. And we'll just do a bit of grunging up here. Take some of the whiteness away. Yes, yeah, so I'm not really doing a lot. I um, got up this morning, woke up early, as I usually do, but I actually felt like getting out of bed this morning. <laughs> so I got out of bed and I thought, oh, I could go for a walk. My partner was busy snoring beside me, so that was he wasn't going to be waking up anytime soon. So I thought, oh, I should go for a walk. I looked out the door and thought, oh, can I be bothered? And it was a little later than I thought too, um, by the time I dragged myself out of bed. So I thought, no, I won't go out. I won't go for a walk. What I did do though is I went out the back and um, spent some time sweeping up under our pergola area that has um, been a mess for weeks now. Being winter, we sort of don't get out there much anymore at the, this time of the year. So I thought, you know what? Oh, and I've just put the glue on totally the wrong side. Um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get out there and do a bit of tidying up. So that's what I did. I spent the next hour tidying up, which was nice because I felt like I had actually achieved something um, for once. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was good. Oops. These are so tiny. I always put a little bit of glue just to be on the safe side. Um, I think I might pop it across there. Okay, I'll give him a trim. Yeah, I quite like that one. It's a great way to use up all these bits and pieces. I'm forever buying more die cut packs and cutting things out of magazines and they just tend to sit there so it's been really good to use them up. Now I've only got a couple more of these to go so I'll, I'll do those and then we'll quickly stick those on. Um, <clears throat> and yeah that'll be it I think. really need to use this butterfly. Yep, okay. Chop it. These are also sort of glossy too, so they're a little um, 
yeah, more difficult to use. This is also glossy, I'm not sure where this came from. Looking at the back, I'd say a magazine. Tone it down a little bit. <clears throat> so I hope, you know, everybody is, as I said, well and um, managing to cope at the moment. It is a lot tougher than life normally. And I really hope that everybody is okay. You know, it's um, challenging to be okay, I think. I know I find it to be so. Um, and I must admit, having um, the crafting and just being able to watch other people too, just you know, takes your mind off things and that's been really nice listening to other people chat as well you know it's nice to know you're not the only one experiencing sort of the feelings that I guess we're feeling at the moment too you know we aren't the only ones and I guess here in Australia we should be grateful um, you know we have although I'm in Victoria and we've had a bit of a disastrous uh, <laughs> few months um, you know there are places in the rest of the world where it's been so much worse well, I must admit I do wonder if they've got the same behavior that we've had too from people who have just not I don't know don't know what it is just don't seem to care just don't seem to I don't know no, I don't like that one I'm trying to just bring the butterfly out a little bit I should have outlined it in black before just go around with the Posca, oh, this thing. Oh, what is it? A uniball. Yeah, I tell you, this, this COVID business has certainly brought out the selfishness of people and the um, well, stupidity of some people, maybe. I, you know, I just... It's really sad. It, it frustrates me. It just really does. But having said that, it also there has been also some stories of people who've been exceptional, you know, showing a lot of kindness to others and so forth. So that's always nice as well. I guess situations like this always bring out the best and the worst in people. Right, one more. Let's do this quickly. I think I might as well use this one, although I don't know what I'll use with it. see something then where'd it go a B it's a bit white uh, no actually maybe I should use some of these flowers oh there's some butterflies there oh, I'll have to cut them out can't be bothered might use this coloured flower I'll pop that there no I don't like that but surely there's something else in here I can use oh there we go Yes, oh look, we can have a flower arrangement. Yep, I like that. Now I'm just going to put this down the side, just because I can. And that will be it, I think. And I'll glue the backs on. As I said, if you are interested in swapping some of them with me, um, I was thinking of putting them on my in my store um, with with no charge because they're a swap, but um, it don't, won't let me. So I thought, well, that's not going to work. Um, so I guess if you are interested in swapping with me, what I will do is at the end of the video, I will put photographs of all of them with numbers next to them. If you are interested in any of them and you are Australian, I'm going to leave it just for Australia at the moment, just simply because it's just too hard to send overseas. I've already got um, a bag of envelopes and packages to go overseas and they've just been sitting there some of them for you know a little while and I just I'd rather not have too many just waiting to go so Australian only please 
um, yeah and if you just send me an email with the numbers you're interested in and I guess if there's more than one person interested in any of them it'll be whoever gets the email in first um, that's really all I can do if you're not fussed which ones you get then just say um, and I'll just send some um, also let me know how many you're interested in swapping you know it's better to swap probably three than one um, obviously for postage costs so that would also um, be good if you could uh, do that and I'm happy to receive any type of uh, ATCs I've got a little bit of a collection going I love them I just I love making them I love looking at them this so I just the smallness of them I think is what gets me I just love the the cuteness of them so um, yeah if you're happy to swap please email me my emails always in the description box and I will get mine out as soon as possible of course it is a swap <laughs> so um, please don't uh, you know do the wrong thing don't destroy my faith in in the crafting community if you don't mind there we go that's that one all right um, now I might not glue them all onto backgrounds while you're watching because that would be like watching paint dry which or glue dry in this case so basically all I do is glue them to the backgrounds and usually on the back I'll put um, my information so once I know where they're going I'll spend a bit of time and write on the backs of them all so there that's and then of course just a quick now yeah, usually I have some clips around here that I clip back so they make sure they stay but I'm not sure where they've gone mm. Okay, so that's one of them. Right, just do a couple more and then I will say goodbye and thank you uh, for watching, of course. Alright, so as I said, I'll pop some photographs with um, at the end of the video with numbers if you are interested. Take a note of the numbers, send me an email obviously with the numbers that you of the cards you want, and of course your address would be useful. Um, and I will pop them in the mail for you and look forward to receiving yours. That would be brilliant. Okay, so I will say goodbye now and thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.